In this video, we're going to look at how to create a church flyer for Bible study sections in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we do Photoshop tutorials and tech videos. If that is something that sounds like you are interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'm going to use in this video. You might want to download that and follow suit. Now, if you're done with your design and you want to send it to me, you can show it to me on Instagram at say underscore innocent. Now, let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. I'll be doing this in Photoshop 2021, but this should work with any version of Photoshop provided you know the right tools for it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new doc. So we go to file and then new or you basically can use control and to do that. And we are going to set a four by four inch. That is a square. So we can make the resolution over here 300 like that. And then we can go ahead and click on create. Since basically this is going to be for online, this should be able to fit onto your WhatsApp DP and fit exactly when you post it on Instagram as well. So the first thing we want to do is we want to establish the background. So we go to the adjustment layer here and we are going to select our gradients from here. Now we're going to the gradient panel and we are going to choose this particular gradient. If you don't have it already, these are the color codes if you want to use the same thing. So this is the first one and this is going to be the second one if you want to use the same color codes now after you're done with this what you want to do is and of course if you don't have the same thing like this you can choose any of the gradients or any of the gradients that you have in your gradients palette so you can choose this one and you can click ok from this point the next thing we want to do is we want to change the style here to radial and what we're going to do again is we're going to set this one to reverse and then we try to open it up a little to about 133 so once we have this blended seamlessly we can then go ahead and click ok now the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in a background since this is going to be a bible studies we want to get some bible pictures at the very background very simple and plain so we go to file and then place embedded or you can just drag and drop in your background so I got this background from Google so you can just select this and to download this a link will be in the description so you're going to place this right on top of your gradient that you just set and then you can open it up a little bit like that so just make sure that it is in the middle or it is in the center quite something like this let's open it up a little more so something just like that now you make sure that the alignment everything is perfect over here and then we are going to double click on that the next thing is we right click and then we rasterize this layer we go to the blend mode here and then we are going to set this to soft light so something very simple like this now we want to add a layer mask to this so that we can brush some parts of that we don't want so you select your brush tool and then you're going to make sure that your foreground color is black and then you can get rid of all of these parts that you don't really want so the hardness has to also be zero and then we can get rid of all of these parts that we don't really want to see so something like that is going to be fine and then we can leave it over here now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our test and everything that we want to add to this so inside my test here i've already grouped a couple of tests over here so the first thing is going to be the grace life arena ministry the first font that we're going to use we're going to try with railway over here so we go for railway medium and then we are going to make sure that our color is set to white and we click ok now we go ahead and then we can paste our test right over there now we can then go ahead and select our test and then open it up a little bit like that select the toggle character and then we can close it up a little like this so something like that should be fine and then we can get rid of this one and place it somewhere over here now let's quickly add the logo to this so that it will make sense so that we can just group the both of these ones and then we can center it so we can drag this to this very side go and select the ellipse tool or the circle tool hold shift and then you can create a perfect circle like this now this is going to be the logo that was provided by the person so 
we're going to make sure that the ellipse is changed to white over here click ok and then we go to file place embedded and then we are going to place the logo so this is going to be the logo you double click on that right click and then you can create a clipping mask so that it will be right inside of the ellipse that you created so you can press ctrl t to transform it out and then we can select this couple up with the ellipse press ctrl t and transform it a little bit like that and then we can select the grace life the, the title over here and then we can drag it over here so something like this now we can group all of these ones ctrl g to group that and then we can call it the heading so something like that press ctrl a and then we can center it nicely now the next thing we want to do is we can select the grace life arena here make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we can drag it to this very side so somewhere around here and then we are going to change this to present so grace life arena ministry presents you can press ctrl t to open it up a little like that and then we are going to make one more duplicate now let's make sure that this is out of the group so we are going to send this on top and then you can make use of the kelly bracket if you want to do that now we want to make one more duplicate by pressing ctrl j and dragging it down and the title of the bible teachings is the rema r so we're going to type in here rema r so we press ctrl t and then we can transform this one to be very big like this one but we are not going to use the railway font we are going to use the trajan pro regular font so this one right over here so the rema we press ctrl t and then we can transform it nicely like that and then we can make one more duplicate drag it right underneath of it and we are going to change that to r so the rema are something simple like this one now what we're going to do next is underneath of this particular circle or this particular o here we want to add something like an r so when we go into our resource file so please embed it here we're going to find this particular clock over here so we're going to open that and then we can transform it a little bit smaller like this so some something like that you take your time to transform it and then you can bring it right underneath of the r here so we want it inside of this particular o so press ctrl t transform it some more like that so something like this we just want the time to show and once we have it like this all that we can do is we can right click rasterize the layer over here and we can go for something like the eraser tool and then just get rid of this one if you really want to be on the safer side you can use the masking because it is going to be way simple for you now once we are done with this we move ahead and then we are going to add the bible teaching section to it so we're going for a rounded rectangle over here and we are going to create a very simple rounded rectangle like this so something like that and then we are going to just make sure that you can choose any color at this moment but after that you can right click on it go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient to it so choose the gradient overlay over here go into our gradient and this is the gradient that we are going to use so if you want to use the same ones these are the hex codes this is the first one and this is going to be the second one this is just a two-sided gradient or a two-bar gradient so you can click ok ok and then ok from here now on top of that we can add our test and we go inside of our test over here let's see what we have we have the online bible teaching so we're going to select our test and then we paste the online bible teachings over here we change the font from trajan pro to poppins and we're going to use the medium one over here now we can bring this inside of the rounded rectangle that we created and then we can take time to transform it very nicely and neatly like this as simple as that right so at this point we can bring the presents here into the heading like that select from the rema to the online bible teaching and we can group that and call it the main so this is what we have the first one and this is going to be a heading now the next one we're going to add is we're going to select the rectangle tool here create a very simple rectangle underneath and we are going to change the color to all 
white so something like that and then we can take time to bring it way below something like this so if you feel like you need more space you can just push your heading up a little bit and then you can push your main up a little bit as well so that there will be enough spacing between all of these ones now on top of this rectangle this same rectangle we're going to choose the rectangle to again and create another very simple rectangle like this one so something like that we're going to double click on it and select a color from this particular portion so we don't want it to be that very darker so we can go somewhere here i think this looks fine or let's try to go up a little bit this looks way better and then we can click on ok from here now we are going to make one more duplicate ctrl j drag it right underneath of it like that and then we can press ctrl t to transform this to something very simple like this so we hit on enter and this should be fine now on top of this rectangle we are going to add the test so we pick a test tool over here and then we can write somewhere around here so we're going to add a test days and then we are still using the medium poppings so we select all of that and then we are going to change the color to white and then we can drag it inside of this rectangle that we created and then we are going to make a duplicate of this test ctrl j to duplicate that select all the test and then we are going to change it back to this particular color that we use for the rectangle so this color right over here and click ok and then we go inside of our test what we have over here every sunday every friday and sunday so we're going to select that and paste it right over here so every friday and sunday press ctrl t and then you can transform it very neatly like that and then we can position it over here so you take your time to do the positioning and make sure that your alignment are always on point after that i feel like we can bring this rectangle over here a little bit something like that and then we are going to make a duplicate of this particular test drag it down here and then let's go and find the next test so this is going to be the next test on the whatsapp platform so we're going to select that and go and paste it right over here so paste it right over there press ctrl t and then we can transform it very neatly now this is going to be very small so we just have to make it very small and just make sure that it is in alignment or it is not bigger than the one that we have for the friday and sundays now after we're done with this we can select the rectangle over here press ctrl j drag it to this side and then we can press ctrl t right click and then flip it clockwise like that so that it will create a very nice rectangle for us to use it as something like a separator so we press ctrl t and then we can transform it over here and make sure that it aligns with this particular test on the left side and then we can push it to the left side a little bit so this is what we have in now the next thing is we're going to back to copy this every sunday so we are basically adding another test so we copy that drag it to the right side over here and then we go into our test we have the 7 30 pm to 9 30 pm each day we go back to photoshop and then we're going to paste that right over here so you take your time and then you resize it to make sure that it is in alignment with this particular ones and then if you drag the ruler over here you can see that it is very in alignment so we can just leave it over there like that now you can see from here that this is not aligned at all so what we can do is excluding this particular rectangle the bigger rectangle that we added we can select the smaller rectangle up to the last rectangle that we added and then we can group that we can call it the date and time and then afterwards you can press ctrl a and then center it very neatly like this now even if it is small if it is too big for you you can as well go ahead and resize it or if it is smaller for you you can press ctrl t and then open it up a little bit like that if you really want to see it so you press ctrl a and then you center it and then you are good to go the last thing we are going to add will be the contact so we are going to add the email and then we are going to add the social media handle so we're going to open our resource and then we have this email symbol over here 
we're going to unlock it go and select anything like the magic one two and you can make one time selection and hit on delete and now you have a png file so you can select this and drag it into the document or the work that you are working on something like that and then you can transform it very nicely like this you take your time to position it and something like this so afterwards you're going to add one more test to it so let's go into the test and then we have the grace life arena ministry at gmail.com that is going to be the email so we're going to select our test over here and then we can just paste it like that so let's go back to railway so that you can use the italics so something like the regular here and we go into the toggle character and then we can set it to italics over here like that press ctrl t and then you can transform it very neatly like this as well so we can just position it over here and make sure that this is going to be dark color so let's even try the medium over here so that it can be seen very well so we press ctrl t to transform it some more like that and then we can open up our social media handle so social media over here all the links to download all of these will be in the description so you can download them for free so we want the facebook over here so we select that make a duplicate and then we can drag it into our document we can press ctrl t and transform it very neatly like that as well and then we can transform it over here so something like this now we go ahead and then we can make a duplicate of this test drag it to the right side and then we can go into our test and then this is what we have for the grace life arena ministry so you can follow the grace life arena ministry on facebook and then you can send them an, an email if you want to join this ministry now we can select all of these ones from the first layer to the layer one here ctrl g and then we can press ctrl t transform it a little like that press ctrl a and then we can make sure that it is centered so this looks like it's not really well so let's close it up a little bit like that ctrl a and then we can make sure that it is centered now you see from here that the the space from this side to this particular point is too much so i'm going to select my date and time and drag it down a little bit like that and then i can select my bigger rectangle and drag it down also a little bit like that and that said you've created a very simple bible study flyer for your denomination you can use this for evening service you can use it for the main church service and so on and so forth if you want to easily change the colors from here you can come right on top of the backgrounds over here and add a hue and saturation so hue and saturation here and then you can easily drag this one from something like that now it has to actually affect this particular rounded rectangle to make sure that it is in line so what we're going to do is we're going to send the heading on top and the main down and then we can drag the hue and saturation on top of the main instead and then now if we drag this you can see that everything is changing like that so we can have something like this like that or any one of them that you really want to have so something like this also looks cool now if you want if you don't want to use any of that you can just turn off the hue and saturation and then this should be ready to be used as your bible study flyer i hope you gained value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very appreciated thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye